Hey guys, well here we are again in Fusion 360 and today I want to go over the Y-axis ball nut mount. We're going to be machining this today so I thought I'd take a moment and go over some of the cam operations. So we're going to be using two setups. <clears throat> the first setup, our part will be oriented like this and we will be setting our origin to the top left corner here and we're going to do our boring for the three holes to mount the ball nut as well as the through hole so we have a center drill operation we're just drilling down ten thousandths or a hundred thousandths excuse me uh, then we're coming back for a clearance drill. This is for an M6. Next we have a drilling operation just to make a through hole through the center here to give us a little bit of uh, clearance when we go to machine that hole out. Next we're using a 3 8 inch long end mill here and this time I'm doing a boring operation and we're doing this in three different passes so we'll do this initial pass we'll bore a hole then we'll step over and bore another hole and do another step to bore the final hole then we're going to come back and just clean it up with one final pass um, <clears throat> trying to do a full side clearing with this just created a lot of chips when I was doing the bearing blocks and I thought I'm going to give this a shot and just see how this does and then the last operation will be to tap the three mounting holes for the ball nut now because the way the ball nut is situated it doesn't allow us to get these three mounting holes here it's possible that you could put a smaller hole in the side here if you wanted to but you are going to have to come back and notch this ball nut off right here for clearance as well as flatten the top out I don't really I did it like this and I didn't see that it really mattered too much it's pretty sturdy in there our next setup is from the top and we're going to be using the top left corner and again we're going to start out with a center drill and then we're going to bore a hole for our M6 threads we're going to come back and we're going to do some adaptive clearing here to clear out for our pin this goes up into the Y saddle and this is how it's secured I'm going to come back and just do a finishing pass on this to size and then the final operation is to side clearance here for these notches and this is for clearance for the modification into the Y axis base so that's pretty much all the cam operations here I have tried to tweak my feeds and speeds and I'm really trying hard to work on getting somewhat of a normal feed and speed uh, chip load on my cutters this is a 3 8 inch 4 flute end mill uh, it's a 1 inch flute length and I'm running it at 30 inches per minute at 3000 RPMs with a feed per tooth of two and a half thousandths. Um, I think optimal would be one one to three thousandths so I think I'm pretty good there. Um, when I did run this it did seem like I could have probably gone a little more or either I'm still I'm still really trying to get a hand on the whole speed chip per tooth 
width of cut. Now the width of cut on this is probably where I would have increased the step over here. I've only taken 25 thousandths and I think I probably could have increased that to maybe 40 thousandths or something because you can see I'm, I'm making taking quite a few passes here and I think that's where I need to adjust it not necessarily the chip per tooth or the speed rate but the width of cut all right so let's go out to the precision Matthews and we'll machine this out
right, well, we'll see how it turned out. All right, I've got the Y-axis ball nut mount. This is set up too. And so we're going to machine the dowel or pin on the top of it. We're going to drill it, machine it, and tap it. So let's get started. It seemed to thread really nice, worked out really well. Uh, couldn't be happier with the compression tapping head. Let's get it out. We'll take a look at it. All right, finished up the Y axis ball nut holder. Turned out really well. I was very pleased with the way it turned out. Uh, I'm almost almost have the mounts wrapped up. Uh, I think Chad's been waiting on these for over a year now, so I know he's excited to uh, finally be able to get them. I've got a few more things to make. Uh, the next video, I guess I'll make a run of these holders for the bearing blocks. And I believe that's it. I think I have everything else. I'm going to be doing... Uh, cutting some oil slots for the one-shot oiler into his Z-axis and Y-axis 
saddles. So I might shoot some video on that. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thumbs up if you like the video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. Thanks for watching, and most importantly, be safe.